Hey everybody, welcome back to Manor Lords. I do hope you're having a wonderful day today. Uh, I've decided I want to claim the farmland. I've been thinking about it. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Their army just show up while I was chilling there, waiting to figure out how I wanted to speak at the start of this video. Oh, wow. Hey, there's a bunch of them moving into the inv into the area here. Uh, I don't know where their destination is. There's no bandits on the map. There is the this camp over here, which we're, you know, these guys over here are going to get to the camp, but there are no adi oh right there. All right, so they're probably going to go kill those outlaws, which I'm okay with. And again, you can go ahead and kill those outlaws, uh, and I'll be ready. I'll be ready to snipe the resources yet again <laughs> with these guys. Actually, I'm going to leave these guys, um, these militia footmen. I'm going to leave them drafted, and uh, here, let's just go over here and do that. All right. I'm going to leave them drafted and uh, they're going to go get this and then head down and uh, hopefully they arrive. I'll have them maybe come in on this road here. They can arrive right here about the time that these guys are going to move over here to fight and then I'll just be able to snipe that and take some more resources for my own. We'll see how that works out. Uh, anyway, so I wanted to claim this territory here, I think, uh, gold off because this is the only other territory in the whole game, as far as we can tell. If I go into my fertility, right? It seems to be the only other place other than the ones he already controls that have good fertility for barley and flax. And I really want a good fertility for barley and flax. I really need that more than anything, I think. And then also there's that really awesome, you know, rich deposit for berries here. And so that gives us two rich berry deposits. It's great for dyes. This will be a really wonderful place for getting us ready to go in our clothing uh, stuff and everything and we can start looking up at trading and uh, looking at trading the clothing and everything so that's what I want um, I'm a little bit concerned about the army being here now because that wasn't here when I was planning this but I'm going to go ahead and hit claim with influence I'm going to press a claim towards gold off so we are now claiming gold off now whether or not this actually works or not I guess it depends on whether or not he wants to contest it so far he doesn't seem interested which is fine if he does if he wants to this is his army right now i mean i guess he can send more in he, he did that before so that might be a, a complication oh also at the end of the last video and i probably got i almost always get comments like at least six people are going to tell me that the reason why i had zero up here was because as you move your mount as you move the camera over other regions the top switches to the economics of that region so there's nothing here and that's why it's zero so i i must have been over here doing this and then i moved this far right but i didn't move all the way to my territory if i had moved all the way into my territory i would have gotten charlestown's uh, economics so there we go okay so uh we have three builders that's pretty good we also have some extra burgage plots now so we have capacity for 22 and that comes in right as we get to 20 people or 20 people that's great now, these plots we can use uh two additional timber to get an extra living space in this area if we choose to and that gives us capacity for even more but we can do that strategically like we can do that whenever we choose or like whenever we feel like it here's all of our vegetable farms they do take time and you know the yield's gonna be slow and then the chickens are all right in here and we should have eggs in the in the stalls right do we have eggs we do have four eggs so that is two different types of food and it's not gonna satisfy this yet but uh for some reason berries are not being sold right no berries are being sold a uh, meat's not being sold what's going on with the meat all right are we not hunting very well i mean there's only a very small amount of animals here you know it'd be actually pretty nice to have like a rich animal plot but that's not until over here yeah that way you could leave it at 20 and they they repopulate the more there are the more you know they'll re reproduce so it doesn't look like he's interested in challenging my claim to this territory that's gonna be great he is in this territory but it doesn't look like he's interested in claiming it or you know stopping me from claiming it so cool He's just after the bandits, which is perfectly fine for me. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm going to let that just keep right on going. Uh, let's have them run, please, if you could. And then... Uh, 
we have policies available it says so let's take a look at the policies really quick let's go back over to our region policies so development points no policies yes we have hunting grounds wild animals on rich deposits which we do not have breed uh twice as fast at the cost of 50 percent yield in crops so since we don't have a rich deposit no thank you and then we have strict fasting citizens skip every fifth meal reduces food consumption increases approval i don't really care for that one either so we don't have to you know put in place a policy we don't have to and so i won't be doing that okay he's not gonna stop me so now i gotta figure out what i want to do for that so i've added an extra field right here it's probably just gonna end up being wheat here we go uh this belongs in my treasury yep all right now take our army here and bring them down let's get them started moving in this direction i want you guys right down here if you could run that'd be great because these guys are absolutely going for this bandit camp <laughs> and uh I would say that by the time they get about here, these guys will react. So the battle will probably take place about here. And we should be able to sneak right in there and grab that. <laughs> All right, I'm going to set two people back in my iron industry. So there's one more left in the mine and one more back uh, with this bloomery here. So we should be able to get going on making more weapons and stuff if we need to. Uh, I would also like to get an armorer for us to start making helmets and so that's going to be the next Burg burgage plot that i upgrade here for doing this we have a fletcher shop hey wait a minute are you making bows wait have you been i mean that was that's cool if you have been yeah you have 20 bows cool 20 war bows very nice all right cool i <laughs> totally forgot about that um we're gonna have you turn into an armorer's workshop and we're gonna have you do that right after you upgrade to level two which we can't do because of the food situation we might have to focus on the food um, we have 142 berries, but there's just not enough of anything else for it to matter. And, you know, like honey would have been cool. Uh, we're not making bread yet, but like we just started farming this year. So I think this kind of gets it like worked out right over over time. We're going to eventually work this out because of the, the farming that we're already doing. Uh, are we going to make it there in time? They are moving pretty fast, but so are these guys. I think... I think probably the battle happens about here we might be able to get there in time region claimed gold off is mine okay so now we have to take a look at uh how do we build here right that's because gold off doesn't have a whole lot of stuff going on here now we have 506 in our treasury and i can't build here unless i have something in this region i have to get things to this region to settle it and, and do things with it. Um, I think one of the tools that help us do this is the trading post. Is it? No. Maybe it's a logistics thing. Pack station, I think. Use this building to set up a barter connection, allowing you to send and receive goods between this and another region in your command. Employs mules to transport up to 20 goods per trip. Okay. We want that. We want pack stations. But we can't do the pack station until we do... Uh, where is it? I forget where it is. Administration. This one right here. The settler's camp. We have to put the settler's camp in first and pay that 250 gold. So where do we want our, our town to be here? Where do we want our place to settle? I'm going to go with... Uh, barley is like my most important thing. Most of these fields seem to have overlapping fertility. Right here seems very good for setting up uh, our major farming operation right here. All right. We can have, I mean, there's, there's stone here, but like once the stone is gone, then the whole thing just opens right up. And I think over here too, not as good for barley, but great for flax right here too. So if we're going to have fields be here and here, and then hunting takes place here, the berries are here, iron. Yeah. I think we want the town to be like right here. All right. Wherever we're setting up is going to have to be right here. So I'm going to put the settlers camp here. And I might actually give them average. Mm, no, nah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Modest is fine. All right. We have the region settled and we are now here. Plus we get five starting families. So we actually got a lot more productivity that way as well. So the next thing to do is to set things up as if it's a brand new game, right? So let's start with logging. 
We want to clear out a lot of these trees because there are just so many of them and we don't want any of them. This is a farming area, right? So I'm thinking it might not be the smartest idea, but I'm kind of thinking on having two of these things, right? At the, at the moment, I can just staff three families here. I get that. But if I do two, then I can do two areas at once. I think I'll pass on that though. It was an idea at the time. And as I, as I talked about it, I, I, I kind of talked myself out of it. So never mind. Uh, we want the granary. There's gonna be so many fields, so much farming going on here. I'll uh, put the granary on this side. We're gonna put the storehouse uh, right next to it, I guess. Probably right here is fine for the storehouse. We'll have a road that comes past this, just so I don't forget. Uh, and then uh, we want, let's do wood cutters because we need the firewood still. We'll put that like right there and then have this be like that. All right, then this is the biggest priority. So all you guys go ahead and build all of that. We have another oxen that sh shows up. That's fantastic. <laughs> I love it. All right. So we basically have now two completely different sections, like two completely different places. They're, they're completely independent. And I'm going to assume that I'm going to need a manor in this one as well. I assume, which kind of makes me wish I had put the manor over here. I mean, it doesn't make any sense to put your manor right at the edge of your territory, but you know, for defensive purposes, it doesn't seem like a good idea, but yeah, whatever it is, what it is. Uh, they're coming in. I, I'm, I'm not letting this run. I need to let it run in order to get these guys in here. Probably can't run. Can you, can you run now? Yeah. Get in there. Get in there. I know you keep running out of stamina, which I mean, you can only run for so long. And this is, there's a lot of stuff, a lot of, uh, yeah, I, actually, you know what? What I, what I could do is this. Maybe I don't select a region. Maybe I just let them do what they want, right? So we can go logging camp. We can put three families in this and then just let them cut down all the trees they want. It's a giant farming area. It doesn't really matter, um, you know, where they're, where they're chopping them down. Just as long as you're chopping down trees, I guess. All right. Are you guys going to react? I need to figure out whether or not I can get closer or not. I'm going to try to get right in here. Come on, react to that army. You know, you want to, they're getting bundled up. Come on now. Come on now. As soon as you react, I come right. As soon as you, I'm going to go right in here. Come on. I think that's that. I think that's right there. Yep. Yep. They're reacting right now. So we're going to go in here and get, grab this. And we can run in and just, I'm hoping we can run in and do it. They're going to be occupied with a fight. So it's going to take them a while to get there. And we're pretty much the same distance. So I, I think we got this too. But yeah. Yeah. We're totally taking that camp. All right. More money for my treasury. And that's why I like claiming it for the treasury because then I can distribute it to other places and, and claim territory with it. Right. So that's why we did it that way. Uh, okay. So logging camp is cutting down lots of trees. There should be a whole bunch of timber around. There's the wood cutters. We can get some firewood going and we need to start going with burgage plots and all that stuff again. So real quick, flack, barley, rye, I mean, everything is so good here. Probably right here. Burgage plots right here. This is the, like, there's like a band right here of, you know, less fertility, but everything else is great around it. I think that's what we're going to, where we're going to do it. So we'll take this. I think the burgage plots will be, um, put them all across the road like this. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to do it like this, but maybe not quite so extreme. Like right off the King's road is fine with me. I just need a lot more timber, which the woodcutters are going to get me. So I guess I'll wait. It doesn't even look like they were interested in the camp anyway. They're all moving that way. So. I got the camp very easily and we're going to give it to my treasury again. All right, cool. So this, let's just head back to our home territory so we can disband you. There we go. Okay. Now I could, right at this point, I, I could go and get this one started because it's only 250 gold and I have that. So I could get this started and then we just start getting taxation, right? From all of them. If we can get their individual economies going really well and trading. I can then get taxation going, which just feeds into my treasury from all directions, which would be great. Another armies rule armies was spotted. Are we still enemies? We have peace now. I thought, yeah, so they shouldn't come after us. If they do, it's only six guys, but it's also a bad thing to lose people. I still have not lost a single soldier. Oh, okay. Retinue. Never mind. I lost, I lost those five. 
Um, but I never lost a single one of these guys. Only, only my permanent... Yeah, there we go. Only my permanent people over here that came with this building. Which... How do I recruit here? Customization. Rally. I need, I, I need to find a way to get recruits for this. So, can I say... Recruit men at arms. Ah, okay. We pay the treasury to hire a retainer who already owns basic military equipment. Got it. So I have to pay for these guys. That's not bad. I mean, that makes sense too. And, and obviously if they get expertise and they, they level up too, right? They get better and better and better. But all of this stuff is a work in progress right now. So we're not going to have to deal with it right now. And uh, we have armor imports we could do. That's not bad. Pay the full price to import the armor set for this retainer. Not bad. I mean, professional soldiers are the way to go, right? Especially if they can level up. But in this build, it doesn't look like they can level up. So it's... I think it, maybe it's not as big of a deal. So I want to increase my regional wealth in Charlestown. And so if I can somehow do that and allow people to make more money, then I can, I can actually implement taxes and have uh, a good amount of money coming into my, co my coffers as well. We're going to use the trading post to do that. At the moment in my market... The diversity of food is the problem, not the quantity. I have seven months of fuel and eight months of food. So it's really about that quant, the diversity. And uh, it's May right now. We're gonna, you know, harvest these three fields. Uh, the crop type here is barley. So that's gonna be work for our alcohol. We have flax for our food. And so there is gonna be some wheat coming in, although I don't know exactly what it's going to be. Uh, right now it says zero which has me worried. 17% 7, growth. But it still says zero. That's got me worried. Uh, <laughs> I may not be able to have any farms over here at all, uh, which is fine, I guess. As long as I'm farming a lot over here, it's fine. I'm just going to have to make sure I'm shipping food from that side over into here and then, you know, compensate by having just a really solid industry. Speaking of industry, let's take a look at... Uh, I want to do the blacksmith here. So we're making sidearms still, right? And currently we've got 22 sidearms, 16 small shields, 24 bows. We have we have some pretty good arms here, right? We're ready to rock. 40 spears, 47 big shields. What we're missing is uh, armors and stuff, right? Is what we're missing. I guess there's these two pole arms, right? So maybe we can start making those because we don't have many of those. And that takes planks as well. But I'm sure those are going to be really effective. So let's get some of those. Since we have 22 sidearms already, that's enough to you know have a pretty good amount of people there. We're going swi to switch to pole arms for that right now. Um, but what I want to do is set up some trade routes. So over here at the top, we have 151 berries. That's a lot. We're basically a berry-based economy right now as far as our food goes. Uh, and we got uh, growing over here. There's another 119 over there. So I think we should do a couple of things. I'm going to go into industry. I'm going to get a dyer's workshop. It's going to make dyes. Okay. And then what I think I want to do is sell the dyes. And the reason for this, if I go to over the trading post and go to trade, we have every item that we would want in the game, like right here in this list. And if I go to food berries, we can sell them for three each, which is pretty good. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but if I go to materials, the dyes we can sell for four each. I actually thought that would be higher. I haven't checked it, but I figured that would be higher than it is. Um, if we establish a trade route, a dedicated traveling merchant will regularly visit your region to trade only this specific type of goods. So we could have somebody, you know, dedicated to coming here to pick up dyes all the time. And we, that, that ensures that we absolutely can sell them. I'm tempted, though, just to sell the berries straight up at this point. The trade route is cheaper and we don't need any extra workers or infrastructure for it. But we make 33% more money by selling the dyes. Assuming it's only one berry for one die. I'm not entirely sure. Never done it before. So, uh, yeah. I think maybe we'll just do this. I'm going to put the, the dyes. I'm going to make them here. We're just going to see how this works out. Uh, I also want to get animals. And it probably will be over there, I think. But I kind of want to get animals. And I was looking at the livestock trading post. And it has in here that we can get sheep 
and horses. But I'm not sure whether these will actually bring them. Because I have, I've done this before. I, I've set it to import before. And I've said that I want, you know, I want like four sheep. And what it will do is it'll take my money, but it doesn't give it back. It doesn't actually give me the sheep. I've, I've had that happen before. Um, so what I'd like to do is I'm going to save it and then we're going to do it. And if they give me sheep, great. But I, I, again, I don't know if they will. I'm going to say four because we have room in the, in the pasture that comes with this for four. And then we need to move those sheep to another place so that we can help, you know, raise them. Right. So, uh, and that'll be like part of the, the farmer's thing as well, I think. So I kind of want this area here to be for animals is what I was kind of hoping to do. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Livestock trading post trade. I want sheep import, and I'm going to say I want four. So that's going to cost me a bunch of money, right? That's the import price. So there's going to be a trade that's initiated. As soon as I add a person here, that person is going to initiate the trade. I don't remember if it comes out of regional money or if it comes out of my treasury. I believe it's regional money. And when it when they do that, again, the money disappears, but the sheep don't show up. I'm hoping that's changed. It was like that when I was playtesting it earlier. Uh, so I'm, I mean, I've had a patch before before recording this, so I'm just kind of hoping that maybe that was something that it did. We'll see how it goes. But I have somebody here because they're supposed to be dedicated to, to actually doing that and getting me that. So we'll see what happens. Um... All right, food stall construction. That's nice. Look at this. Ah, that's pretty good. All these homes are done. They're, they don't have anything in the back, and that's fine. But all these homes are done. I'm going to add a couple more burgage plots over here. And this is really far away from the market, too, though. So I kind of want to tear this one down, to be honest. It's kind of in the way. Maybe move it in the backside, or maybe just shift it to where it's over here instead. Mm. Oh, I'll, maybe I'll expand housing over here first. It's probably fine. If I just expand housing over here first, we'll say we want to go about like, yeah, let's try it from just from right here. We'll, we'll go right here. We'll go up like this over and we'll just kind of go, I guess here, rotate it this way. So that's going to be three additional houses right there. And then we'll have the road go, I guess, connect like that and then go back like this. All right, so three additional houses are going to get put in. Because we're up to 22 people in this region. Uh, let's shift over to Goldoff really quick. And I'm putting in Burgage Plots over here. So I'm, I'm building houses for these guys, right? It's slowed. It's a slow business, but we're trying to get them to where they're no longer homeless because we're at 48%, right? Just like the regular start of the game, right? We got to get that done. Um, general... Storehouse, granary, neither one of these things have people manned on them anymore, which is fine. We picked up all the stuff that was on the ground, so that's good. And so now it's just about, I think, let's take one of you guys off the logging camp for now. I'm starting to clear out the trees. We also have a lot of shrubbery and stuff around here we could clear out just for the sake of its the look of it all. So like all this extra shrubbery is insignificant, so we're going to go ahead and do that. I have enjoyed having this little approach of having... You know the market right here on the on the road and everything i've enjoyed doing that and i'm going to continue that now so we're going to have market and i'm going to have it be i think on this side i think we're going to have the market be right about here so this is going to provide me with 31 stall slots that's that's pretty excessive we're going to do it it's better to have too many than to have too few so there we go so another market right here on the hill pretty good uh, and then I want to start getting farming going as, as probably as fast as I can. We'll start out, I think, with clearing the stone just to kind of get it out of the way. So let's go over to gathering. Here it is. Uh, at least I thought it was. Maybe not mining. That's what it is. Uh, I'm going to place this like right here is probably good. And we'll have that be a highest priority so we can get somebody staff there and start working on clearing out those stone and just getting it into our storehouse, which is going to need to be upgraded anyway. So we're going to work on that, too. Uh, the planks saw pit, right? To do that. Let's go ahead and bring it right about like this. That's good enough for me. And I'm just going to go this way with it. And then we'll have you come down like that. Good enough. Uh, okay. Yeah, there's a lot to manage in this game now, isn't there? Like, it's, uh, it's intense. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and disband the army. We don't need the militia out anymore unless there's other bandit camps, which I haven't seen a notification but i also haven't been paying much attention 
Mm -hmm. I'd like to get to another thousand, but the thing is, right now, if he's going to claim a territory, it's probably going to be Walbrun, which is definitely something I don't want him to have. But the thing is, I didn't have to pay for this. So I'm kind of hoping he decides that he wants this, and then I can just fight him for it. Because I have the money to hire again. I can hire more mercenaries and, and, and take it from him, right? So that is the general goal here, is to take all the inventory, uh, all the territory. And then once you have... I guess once I have all these three regions and I own the rest of the map besides his, that's when I can start trying to press claims to his. And there's 2,000 to press that one. Yeah, 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. But you need 2,000 to press the claim to territories that are already controlled. So that would have made things much more challenging, much more expensive if I hadn't went ahead and said, no, 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 you can't have that. Mm -hmm. So definitely a good time to spend that money that you got and take what's rightfully yours all right good uh are we taking the stone over here yet yeah so i, I just want to clear out this stone too just so i don't have to worry about it anymore i can tear down the building and just be done with it so we're gonna have all the stone we we can have is what we will have here uh i see that my regional wealth is 50 so they have taken oh hang on hang on we have sheep Well, they're taking it. Yeah, there's two sheep in here. Okay, cool. Uh, time to get a pasture going for the sheep. And obviously, we're going to want them to, you know, grow in population and stuff as well. So uh, let's get a pasture right here. And I think it's pretty, that's pretty big. We don't need it quite so big yet. So let's maybe make it like, yeah, like I want to have a lot of animals, but I think it's probably better to have many smaller pastures than it is to have big ones, I, th I think. How much is this? Pasture space is 25. I'm going to assume that means 25 animals can be in here. I might want more sheep than that. You know, I'm greedy. I might want more. Why don't we just do this? We'll put, I'll put it all the way to the road. And we'll do this. Big old pasture, 42. 42. That's going to look better anyway. Just like sectional off right like that, right? That's going to look fine. Cool. Um, might want some mules to transport resources back and forth. And so we'll look to do that as well. But uh, I'm glad that that works now. I let it run for several months in game once. And it, like, it took my money, but I never got any sheep. So I'm happy to see that there are actually some sheep there now. Cool. And gold off settlement has increased. Excellent. We can now go into tools here. Now, is this only for gold off? Or can I spend those development points in here? No. So development points are region specific. Okay, cool. So for here, we kind of, this is like um, a farming area. So it's probably a really good idea to get heavy plow. And come to think of it, I'm kind of I'm like, I'm thinking back, I'm like the decisions I've made and all that. And I probably should not have gotten heavy plow for the last region, right? Probably should have went down something else. It's only one point. I don't think it's going to make that big of a difference especially at our difficulty, but I got a higher difficulty and if a different scenario, you know, where you have to be a bit more optimized, getting heavy plow probably wouldn't have been good for that region. But for here, it's a fantastic idea, I think. Um, so I probably want to do that. The only thing I'm taking a look at right now is like whether or not there's something better for this region to start with. And I don't think there is, you know, doubling the capacity of the berries isn't going to matter sheep breeding maybe this is a farming area heavy plow is just simply the way to go for this zone right so let's just do that and then i'm also going to want to go to the hitching post right over here and i think i want to upgrade this i need planks first saw pit's not built yet there it is okay we'll get, get the saw pit going um how much do we have 32 timber Fantastic. No, not very much firewood, though. So we definitely need woodcutters as well. Okay, so woodcutters on task. Saw pit on task. Burgage plots are going in to help with uh, the possibility of growing people in the future over here. And everybody's got a home now. So next is food supply, right? So hunting right over here, 20. And then the berries are a rich deposit. So definitely going to want to go in and get that. So let's say berries... 
let's say that you are right over here. Just want to double check our fertility really quick. Since we do have a lot of fertility over here. All right. It's mostly barley and flax is what I care about. Seems like this would be fine to just place it right in here. I'm just going to place this right here. And we'll have this road come down. Maybe at this angle. It's pretty good. And it looks like I'm going to cross it. So didn't really mean to do that. But eh, it's an interesting characteristic. Whatever. We'll leave it for now. All right. Uh, and then the hunting needs to happen too. So we'll have the hunting come in. It's going to be right over here near this, I think. All these trees are going to go away. It could be replaced by buildings right through here. So uh, we'll have the hunters go right here, right next to their hunting spot. And then the road will come in. Uh, I think probably what we should do is take this road, bring it straight back from where these houses are. So something like this. Let's um, not allow the curve. There we go. Oh, you're snapping to the road, don't, to the building. Don't do that. There you go. And then straight back about like this. And then we can have this road just kind of come out and then up to the clay later on. Uh, but we'll have you just kind of snap to here for now. There we go. Okay. Uh, obviously, we want to build these. And I think the berries should be first since they don't really have a whole lot of work in getting their supply. It's right there and it's very plentiful and it's June. So we should want us to get started on that quickly. Um, if we can get one more person over here, then I can staff somebody in the granary and then they can continue to, you know, do really good things with our food supply and stuff. So we'll have to look at that as we go. Definitely going to have this place really stable before I settle over here, right? This one's, it's, it's kind of an extra area. I didn't anticipate getting it. I was just sort of rewarded it by stopping my, my opponent. So this one over here, I, I you know, is very intentional and I have an idea of what I want for it. Um, is this the King's Road? Because it looks really weird. Can I get rid of this? <laughs> what is the King's Road doing? I mean, I, it goes that way, sure. But what about this one? Like, what's this doing? This is just ending here. You're not getting in the way of my fertility, are you? My farming? Gosh, you kind of are. You're just right there in the middle of everything. If I want a field, can I? Nope. I have to go around that road. Wow. Okay. Uh, one field. Flax, barley, so mostly a flax field here. So we're going to wrap around the road with this one. And it's going to be a big field. It's going to be a real big one here. Um, we're going to go... Well, I was going to go to four Morgan, but I think I'll keep this one at three. So we'll say three Morgan field there. Immediately, we're going to place another one. And we'll have another field go in right about here. Another three Morgan right there. And we'll start that at fallow. It's fine. Um, let's put a road between these two. We'll just have that come up like that. And then I guess we'll connect to the King's Road from there. We might as well. Since it's all at an angle and everything. Um, can I delete this little segment? No, you're going to do the whole thing. Okay. See, this thing comes straight down here then. There we go. Nope. Back out. Keep going too far. I don't want to go too far. Snap to there and then snap to here. There we go. Instead of this little too far thing that I'm doing. Uh, get rid of this little road here. Yeah, and I have to come back out. So you are going to come out. I think we'll go straight back this way. No, straight lines. Otherwise, it's going to mess up the fields. So uh, yeah, we'll just go straight to this. I guess it's fine. All right, cool. This building is going to get built now. And we're not over 50% here yet, but that's just because of the homeless thing. It'll take care of itself in July. And that's when that thing goes away. All right. So we want somebody working that. And that's going to give us the, the berries that we need. Your work area is here. All right. Excellent. How's the hunting place going? Did we, did we build that yet? We don't have a hunter or sorry. We don't have a builder over here anymore. Um, I can take one off the logging. Uh, let's go two. Two off the logging camp. Uh, just one. Just the one off the logging camp for now. And then that will be who, our, who builds this as well as the other burgage plots that we're going to place down over here. Okay, back over to <laughs> back over to Charlestown. Managing multiple sediments. That's going to be tough. It's multiple settlements, especially if there's like something happening in one. Oh, actually, speaking of something happening in one, these guys need access to water. 
I totally forgot. Like, if we get a fire over here, we're screwed. Um, right here. Oh, beautiful. The water is right here. It's going to go right in the corner here. That's a beautiful spot for water. Loving that. Uh, we're probably going to want another one out here this way in case any of these obscured things. I don't know if farms can catch fire or not, but like, what if this catches fire? That's still kind of a long walk. Um, so we could put it right on the corner here. Although it might be better for a field, right? Yeah, I'd like a field to be here. I'd like a field to be here instead. We're going to put a field right here, here, and here. Another 1.1 Morgan. That's fine. Or it's not. Why is it not fine? Is it just because the trees are in the way? Because that's pretty lame. Yeah, I think it might just because the trees are in the way. It's fine. Uh, where's my, my water supply? Right here. I can't put it on this side. I can put it back here, though. This is fine. I can deal with that. Just as long as there's something else, like there's another one available somewhere is really the most important part there. All right. So this policy is available, but I think it's probably the same policies that have been available this entire time. So it's, yeah, strict fasting. I don't need that. And no additional development points yet. So uh, does uh, do they have different policies available? Just curious. No, they're the same thing. Okay. I'm going to kind of want gold off to start growing on its own, right? And uh, we have a lot of burgage plots and stuff available, and we'll totally be able to use those things. But uh, I got more space over here, so I'm going to add even more buildings. I'm just going to have them do it. They got 43 timber here, and there's going to be a whole lot more because they're going to be deforesting this whole thing for farmland. So we can definitely kind of queue up a whole bunch of uh, construction projects over here for when we get them growing. So burgage plots again, and we're just going to come up this road over down this way. And like, I kind of want to, mm, I think we'll go small increments. I, I want, I want them to all be growing vegetables and eggs and like all like tons of food. This is going to be a very food focused region because we've got all this fertility and we just got all these people. So, uh, rotate it. Yeah. This looks pretty good. I think we can deal with that. We'll go like that. And then we'll have uh, the road go like this. And obviously there's nobody to, to build this yet. We do need them to get happier. And then once they, you know, population goes up, then it'll take care of itself. Bring this up this far. And then you go there. Perfect. That's going to give these guys quicker access to the market, which is over here. And then there's a very steep hill here. So I'm not sure about building the buildings there. Uh, maybe the church can go there. I do like having a church on a hill. I think it's nifty to put the church on a hill. Not enough goods though. I'm out of, oh, there's no planks here. There are 15 planks actually. Um, and the stone should be, well, not yet. This thing's built, but we're not working it yet. How are we doing on firewood? Um, sorry, like this, there we go. Uh, 39 firewood here. Okay, well, I mean, they got to keep working on that too. So I'm going to let them grow on their own. It's that homeless penalty should be going away. It shouldn't be a 48%. It should be happier. Um, is it a food problem? I mean, they have meat, they have berries, they have bread. It, it shouldn't be a problem, right? And obviously we still need to build the farmhouse, but I'm not available for that yet. We don't have enough people. That's why I want that to grow. All right, back into Charlestown here. Um, I'm looking at this area and it says we've only got two out of four so still only two sheep but maybe we can move them oh wait hang on never mind there are two sheep over here oh glory 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 glorious wow um are you guys gonna move over here because you should you totally should and you know what the next thing we get here could be sheep breeding sheep grazing in the pasture slowly multiply i like that we should totally do that. Right now, we're not breeding them, so they're just kind of here and wandering. Um, and it's a little bit weird, to be honest, that they haven't taken these livestock and put them over here yet. That's a little bit strange to me, but uh, I have 441. Region has 131. Yeah, like, I kind of want, I kind of want mules and stuff too, you know? Can I get, can I get like one mule? Give me one mule. Give me, give me two mules. I, I need them to transport back and forth, right? Uh, speaking of which, let's have them plop 
the new resources. They're going to take them down the King's Road, I assume, down this way. And they're going to have to, I mean, I guess they're going to have to go. Yeah, they're going to, they're going to go right through here. That's going to bring them into this area. So why don't we look at getting the trading, is it trading post? Nearest possible destination. Uh, no, it's not this, not the trading post. I keep messing this up. Which one is it? Logistics. Yeah, the pack station. Send and receive goods, right? So the pack station should be over here. I'm thinking we put this like right on this road here. Right there. So a pack station there. And that's again for the mules. And then over here on this side, we would do the same thing where we pack the stuff up. I think we're going to pack it up right here at the base of the hill. Yeah, right there would be the pack station. So that's going to allow us to take the barley and uh, the excessive, hopefully, the excessive quantities of barley and flax and wheat, maybe even, or just bread. We'll, but maybe just make the bread here in Goldoff and then send that bread down instead. Uh, but either way, we'll be able to pack things here and have it shipped over there with the mules that I'm going to pay for with uh, Charlestown money is going to hopefully pay for the pay for the mules. So we'll get that pack station going over there, too. God, this is a big game, isn't it? I mean, you know, <laughs> it's a really big game. Um, and I'm not sure what happens with the animals in the pasture. Do they just... They just graze here, and I assume the farmhouse does something with them. But I don't know that. Medium, yeah, livestock permanent assignment. I mean, I don't exactly know how it works. I've never used it before. Um, I don't think I even had sheep when we played the demo. So this is all, that's all new to me. I'm going to have to look into it. Um, this population of Charlestown is now 24. We got housing for 29. So good. Hold off. Please tell me you're good enough to grow on your own now. Still 48. Okay, we got to figure out how to make these guys happier. Let's take a look. It's really, I think it's all about the church level. I think it's all about building the church. We build that church and everybody's going to be happy. So um, if I build it right down here on the bottom of the of the hill. Yeah, I, 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 again, I, I, like the, I like using the hill for it. It's interesting. It's like the, you know, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how to describe how why I like this, but I do. I'm going to go right about like... Uh, actually, it makes more sense to have it be like this way. The big window facing away. And the, with the gates on this side, though. All right, tell you what. We'll just, uh, just set it here. Just set it right here. It's fine. We'll have that be a very high priority for all the builders, uh, but we're not going to get builders unless we unstaff somebody. So looks to me like we are going to let's have our Ooh, I really need all that stuff logged, though. I need all the logging to happen, but temporarily we're going to take the person off the logging camp and we're going to have them do it um, because we don't need any more timber. We can just keep cutting it. But we won't need any more. Um, we're probably good on... No, we're not. I thought we were good on planks, but we're not. Yeah, once the church is done, I think that's going to take care of everything. Oh, hang on. Charlestown. Exposed stocks are getting soaked. Food stall. Hang on. Exposed stocks in a food stall. Why do you have exposed stocks? I didn't... That's not my responsibility. That's your food stall. I mean, it's a food stall. I have no control over that. So if you're leaving it out, that's your own problem. Quit it. Quit doing that. <laughs> that's the thing. I'm going to get these guys over on this side. I think everybody here is going to be doing vegetables in this line right here. I think. Uh, having more chickens would be nice, though. And actually, the, that persists through the winter, doesn't it? The chickens. All right. Everybody here is going to do chickens. I might need goats, though. You know? What if we did goats? Do I have to get goats, like with the livestock farm? Do I have to trade for goats? It doesn't look like it. Maybe goats will just... You know what? We're going to do one as goats and see if they... See if they bring the goats in. If they bring goats in, then all right. But if I have to get them, like, buy the goats, then it may not be as worth it. But passive income. No, the goat is totally right there. That's amazing. Okay. We're going to do the goats then. Goat shed here. And then um, we'll have you be a chicken coop. I, I just want the eggs. So at least all these plots are now doing something. 
and these are my artisan plots so that's that's why they're over here uh separate area and where all the production stuff comes in stockpiles all that stuff they're all right here so we're not going to turn these things into chicken coops um we are going to want to upgrade their level to make them you know more uh well more <laughs> maybe apple orchards would be a next thing to go over here too but it's interesting though that the goat farms they provide me passive leather or i guess passive hides but not passive milk you'd think maybe goat milk would be something that it could also give me but i don't think it's that's the case either way there should be no shortage of uh of leather ready to go here so um let me switch how many pole arms have we done so far um does that count as side arms oh wait are we here wait a minute are we still i want to disband here right remove unit <clears throat> yeah i just want to take a look at it no no we have 13. <clears throat> excuse me i'm losing my voice now speaking of these artisans they've been busy at work making all sorts of stuff for me and i really want to sell it right that's the whole point like they need to we need to get them wealthy so the trading post let's take a quick look at this and see if we can't set up some trades so at the moment we have 179 berries okay we don't need this many berries so why don't we say we export berries and why don't we say we want to keep a surplus of 120. if we do anything if we have anything higher than 120 we want to sell the excess okay that'll get us some regional wealth too because right now we're only at seven and that sucks we don't want that um construction resources we're not going to sell stone because we can't do it i think roof tiles could be interesting but we have to set up it says we have to set up a trade route route required it's a major trade a trade route is required first and we can't do that because we don't have enough region wealth to, to set it up so never mind um what else can we do i want to do the weapons and stuff too but we have to set up routes for that so i guess we'll get the regional wealth for the berries to start and then once we have enough regional wealth we could go into selling I don't really want to sell sidearms let's sell shields we could make sure we always have let's say 40 in stock for each one that's worth a good amount of money uh spears maybe we just keep like one group available so like 36 and then uh the higher value stuff is pole arms and sidearms we have 13 of these so like we could you know maybe just really get into you know maybe we keep let's say 20 let's say 30 on the sidearms right if we keep we keep 30 so if we make more than that then there we go and i think it might work better because we have this really big source of iron right and we can make iron for a long time i think there's merit in having two blacksmiths and i, I kind of want to extend this out i'm going to put another plot right over here yeah I'm gonna do that um I was gonna put the tavern right here I'm not sure the tavern will fit here if I don't if I do that so maybe we'll place the tavern first that's in the residential area right here so I wanted to place the tavern kind of like right here but now I'm thinking it's too far away from these guys so maybe I should change that plan it doesn't fit here this is where the malt shop's gonna be so we're gonna bring in the barley make the malt and send it to the tavern is what I was going to do um so tell you what why don't we make another row uh I mean I guess I could put it over here it's just kind of far away but I could put it over here the tavern as you come in off the king's road the first building is a tavern I guess that's not bad right that works we just have to make sure it's not in the way of any future defenses we'll put this we'll put the tavern here I guess so let's first make sure we use that I don't want to uproot the trees because we don't get the resources for it so I want to make sure that we're getting the resources for everything I know it's probably not that big of a deal but we'll go ahead and take uh this area right here go ahead and have them cut down the trees in that area right there we'll get started on that uh we have four spare people so I, I gotta put them to work right um let's have us go clay furnace and the clay pits how much clay is left just 161 we might as well just get that going um are we good on stone now 
Yeah, the stone is gone. So the stone cutter can get off the, uh, get out of that office. And then we can demolish this. That's gone. And then we can also go ahead and get rid of the road. That's gone too. And now those supplies are just going to sit out in the open. And we'll, we'll go ahead and bring them in. So that gives us three spare people. And, uh, you know, we can put one. Maybe I can recruit. Is that... Is that something I can do for my own population or let's see manor has a few people working here a few different two, like two families are working here servants right uh taxation I can't do land taxes not yet collected from that yeah no I'm I'm not going to do that just yet I want them earning a good solid stream of revenue before I start taxing them and then I don't think we've lost anybody uh you would put somebody in here if you want them to be the mortician to like bury bodies um this is where you would bury the bodies of your own fallen but if anyone invades your territory like say for example the raiders that are coming in 223 days that we have to prepare for i mean we have so many weapons at this point i'm pretty sure we're gonna be prepared for it um but like if your own people die they get buried here if your enemy dies in your territory you still need to bury those bodies but you wouldn't want to put them here so you would put them in a corpse pit not all deserve to be buried in consecrated ground. Use this building to get rid of any raider corpses quickly. Workers become grave diggers. And we can just put this, like, you know, way away from everybody if we want to. We don't need to put them anywhere, put it anywhere, you know, meaningful. Um, I can just set it over here. This is fine. Just put it over here on the, by the by the woods. No big deal. So the big old corpse pit we can burn. Burn corpses way over here, way away from all the people so they don't smell it. <laughs> Uh, okay, so if the taverns go in here, that means uh, Burgage plots can go here. So we'll just uh, have additional plots put in right here. I'll go to, I'll go, I'll go with two additional ones. It's fine. Um, and then I think that's still, yeah, we can still. Uh, oh, these are big enough to where I can have. Mm, no, no, I don't think I want that. No, no, no. Not really big, just two small ones, please. Yeah, that's better, but I can we line it up to where it's actually level? There we go. Yeah, that's better. I want that. Okay, two more burgers plots, and one of these are going to be a blacksmith again, so that we can make, you know, pole arms with one and side arms with the other. We just need to make a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of weapons, a lot of armor, and we're going to sell that stuff. I want to set up trade routes and sell that stuff. We have 61 iron slabs. We need to do more with it. So that's definitely the next thing to do. Uh, we can also make more tools if we don't have any, which we don't. So we could probably get more tools going. There's actually a separate dedicated building for that. It's called a smithy. And I can put that in here. Um, I can put that right in here like this. Right? Like, now, nah, it's kind of it's kind of awkward because there's no... I want to have like two buildings here and I was going to put the malt house in here because it fits much better in this space, you know, and I could just, uh, I think I would face it this direction. Let's do this instead. We'll go like this malt house will be like this. We'll have the road cross like this, right? And then in here, we'll just put like a decoration thing, which at the moment the game really only has a shrine and it's free, but whatever, we'll just put the shrine right there. All right, so that'll give us a malt house and we can take the barley that we're about to harvest out of the fields. And then, you know, once we have that, nope, that's right, this one right here. Yep, it's only 17. But once we get that barley, we can then start working with it. And maybe if we sell enough uh, up enough weapons and stuff, potentially, if we sell enough weapons, we could get enough money to just start buying the barley or just maybe just straight up buy the malt. I don't know. Um, all the stuff in the trading post here, right? So if I wanted to get the trade of barley, it's uh, 12 each. Like these, these prices are so skewed. Sell for two, buy for 12 is so bullshit. I really don't like it when games do this. Like I understand why you do it because you're trying to dissuade people from just buying everything. But it's not the nature of the worldwide economy to do this. It's not how that's not how this works. Right. It's not, it's not this extreme, it, you know, maybe it's 12 and six, 12 and seven, but it's never going to be, you're never buying anything for six times what you can sell it for. Nobody does that. 
I, I don't know, maybe it was that way in medieval times, but it seems really dumb <laughs> to do that. Um, but yeah, that's what they chose. That's what they chosen to do. So they want you to make it yourself, and I, I get it. It's you know I, I understand why the why the developer would do it. I'm just a little irked by the vast difference that it is. Is it just me or like do you guys also just sometimes sit back and just watch people? You know, just people watching. What, what are they doing? They're walking around. You know, it's it's very interesting to sometimes to just watch groups of people move around in, a, in an area. Right. You can, if you want to get down, like down close and just watch them sell things and hear the sounds, right? Hear them building, like they're building the level two burger huts right now. The, the plots here, the level two plots, right? That kind of stuff is just, it's really interesting to me. Now I could speed it up and just kind of time lapse a build of a building. Although they, they just kind of decided to stop as soon as I sped the time up, didn't they? Yeah, go figure. That's my luck, man. Now, as soon as I turn away, they'll begin to con they'll continue building it. Okay, so I was messing with gold off uh, because they got 51% now, so they're going to start growing. And uh, I just got notified that Charlestown has gained a level. I don't know what the criteria is for gaining a level, but they did. And so we can now select another perk. And since I have sheep, maybe we go sheep breeding. I think that's a fine idea. We can start making our... Get, getting our, our clothing stuff going. That's going to make everybody really happy too. Obviously, we can sell that stuff as well. So I think we're going to go sheep breeding. And so now I've got pastures of sheep, right? And they will slowly reproduce over time. So it makes sense for me to uh, want to buy additional sheep. And uh, I'm going to say my desired surplus is eight. We're going to buy even more sheep if we can. And hopefully they'll go into this pasture. I'd like them to move themselves over into here. Now, when we start to farm this field, all right, with flax, and it's going to take a while, right? It's only 58% grown. It's not really yielding very much because we can't grow much over here, right? But we can, tr we're going to try really hard, okay? Uh, with that, I believe, I, I got three people on the farmhouse right now. I believe we'll be able to bring that flax over and we're going to need to set up one of these this is a weaver workshop and i'm gonna place the weaver workshop i think right over here seems like an okay place maybe i'll rotate it and have it be and let's uh i want to rotate it right here i want it to face this direction though just because i'm i'm clever like that there we go right here i'm gonna put this right there and uh this place is responsible for taking the flax, right? And weaving it into linens, which we can then get into this system. But then also those linens, if we can upgrade this plot. Let's go ahead and upgrade that one. And uh, we can't quite upgrade this one yet, but we can get that one. So we will. Um, this is going to be our tailor and stuff, right? We're going to start getting clothing made, right? And that's going to make everybody a lot happier. Although we already have... A supply of shoes which is already making people happy but i think you know we can get cloaks and things like that uh be great how many shoes do we have in stock i wonder maybe we can say see this materials no it's uh commodities maybe yes yeah, shoes we don't have any in stock so that means we're either not producing enough leather which is very likely or you aren't working anymore we do have leather or maybe people just buy it in the marketplace so fast. That's a very possible thing. So anyway, we're going to set this guy up because the other thing the weaver can do is it can take wool from the sheep and you can do that to make clothing too. Oh, oh our storage is full over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's upgrade this. Let's make that a high priority. Go upgrade that. Uh, I like how the materials to upgrade it are already in storage. So 57 planks are already delivered because they're already in that building. Love it. So we're going to want to get... Why are they taking res Are they taking resources away from it? No, that can't be it. Uh, they just got one plot, though. Or they, they just grew. The population just went up. So Goldoff is officially growing uh, on its own. And uh, man, I'd love to have that stone out of here. Yeah. And then I think we're going to make, since they are growing on their own, uh, we can get our farmhouse set up. And 
I don't really think there's a very good place to put this since everything is kind of in the way. But since this is here, the berries are over there too. I think this is a fine place. This will do. Right there on the road. That's be where the farmhouse goes. And then we'll staff a whole bunch of people in this along with, you know, the oxen. And actually, we'll probably do two farmhouses. Because doing two farmhouses means we can have two oxen. It's a very big deal. I'm going to do two. <laughs> it's a very big deal, guys. Okay. You just trust me on this. It's a very big deal. Uh, so that storehouse is good. And then I want to take the hitching post and I want to upgrade that to a stable and get another oxen over here as well. All right. Did the, did the church not get built yet? We have enough stone. You guys just got to bring it over there. I think it's because we never, we haven't had builders in a while, right? The population just grew. That's why we have that builder. So now that we have the builder, they'll take the stone out of here and they'll, they'll build this. They're already delivering it over here. Yeah. The, the planks and everything are going to go there. And that will make people even happier over here. So I won't have to worry about it. Okay. Real quick check of the map. I haven't really checked it in a long time. Just to see if there's anything interesting going on on it. Not really. No bandits or anything. Okay. Uh, once we get all of these territories, we will no longer have brigands spawning in these territories. They will now come from our own territory. Uh, if, if we don't keep order, right? We have to keep public order. And uh, then there's less chance of people turning to banditry at that point. All right, guys. I think this might be a good time to call it quits for today's video. All right. We are harvesting stuff now. All right. Right here is the fields. We're going to start getting the wheat brought in. And then the wheat's got to get processed. Right. We got to get it processed into flour and everything. Now, the wheat comes in to the farmhouse. And the farmhouse, they they do this inside the farmhouse. They make it into grain, okay? And then the grain needs to be milled to be flour. I was really hoping that would fit here, but I understand why it doesn't. We're going to put that over here then. So this is going to turn it into, uh, into flour right here. Okay, and then we get the... Right there, yep. So once it's milled into grain here or grind it into grain here. It then gets turned into flour here. And at that point, it can then get sent down to the bakery to be made into uh, bread. It's a communal oven, whatever. Uh, does that fit in here? Man, that almost fits in here over here, doesn't it? Ooh, communal oven in here instead. Now, how about right here? Do you fit here? Oh, man. You know, all the good places that I really want this to fit, it doesn't. We could put it back here not the worst place I, I i mean i don't i just don't want it over here i want to be able to use this area for different things so i think i'm going to put it right here let's have the road come straight through like this yeah like that and then we'll take the communal oven and put it here come on now uh it's really no difference right no put it right there Okay, so the entire setup for making bread is now in place. And I'll just need to assign the workers to do that, right? Uh, I'm looking at my resources. I still don't have a lot of tools. So I need to get tools going for sure. Um, that is going to be my last industry to place for this video. And then I'm done. So smithy. I think I'll put the smithy over here. Yeah, right here is fine. Smithy will go in. We'll have that be high priority. And then once we have everybody with tools, I mean, I think... Probably things get easier from there, right? We have 165 days until we are raided by somebody. Whoever it is that's coming to raid us. Are we going to be ready? Well, if you just look at our helmets. Or sorry, look at our spears. I was looking at helmets, the word helmets. If you look at our spears and our shields and our war bows. Side I mean, we have lots of weapons. We're going to be fine. We're definitely going to be okay there. Um, but I would like to start making armor. Okay. And that can be the next thing that we spend points on. We don't, we haven't needed it yet, but I think that's the next thing we spend points on. When we get raided, if it's not that big of a deal, I'm just going to pay for mercenaries to come in. The only exception to that would be to get like 12 guys in our manor because they, they are permanent, right? And they're going to want to, uh, 
we're going to be able to get experience and stuff on them, right? So we could go into recruitment here and just to get some people that can, you know, defend us a bit more professionally, right? So maybe I can do that, but I feel like getting one man at arms for 50 is expensive for one person. When I can get 30 people with clubs <laughs> for for like 30 bucks, right? Like this, it's very cheap sometimes. Some of these guys are very cheap. Look at this. I can get, like, this is like 50 people for 45 per month, but I'm only getting them when I need them as opposed to some soldiers that I have on a retainer that I'm paying every month. I, I, I feel like I could just, so far anyway, I could just spend it when I need it. But that does mean they won't be as experienced. Alas, it is what it is. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you. This has been an adventure so far, and it is going to just keep being so. What a game so far. And this is not even the full game, man. There's, there's so much stuff locked and not done and work in progress, right? There's just so much of that. It's going to be something that I think we play many times on this channel. I hope you're subscribed. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.